Well, the past 24 hours have been tragic for the capital region's cycling community, suffering two separate blows. One man was killed, another person injured in two accidents that come at a time that some describe as a nightmare for cyclists and for motorists. Fall means that the roads are wet, it gets darker earlier and stays darker longer, and everyone has to be alert. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. It began yesterday afternoon. I saw a gentleman laying down, unconscious, rolled them over, no pulse. His bike mangled on the side of the road. Its rider rushed to hospital, where on the way, he died. His name was Matthew Metcalf, 50 years old, from Victoria. Later Tuesday, another bike rests after it, too, collided with a vehicle. Its rider also taken to hospital, this time with minor injuries. It happens on a weekly basis, maybe, maybe once a month. It's how often staff here say they see bikes damaged, all after collisions with vehicles. Like, this is damaged, this rim will have to be replaced. A problem some uh, say is all too common in Victoria to. that worsens this time of year. There's a lot of rainfall, so the rainfall pushes it out right into our bike lanes. So there's, there's leaves, there's rocks, glass. All obstructions. In October, the blame fell on sun glare after two almost identical collisions sent two cyclists to hospital minutes apart from one another. Yesterday, another two accidents, all blows to the cycling community. It's, it's so tight, you, you know a lot of people. I mean, we probably know 80% of the cyclists that, that do a lot of riding. He says they didn't know the man that died yesterday. His death, just one of several recent cycling fatalities across Canada that has MPs speaking out. How many more deaths does it take for Canada to act? And it is just unfortunate. These deaths can be prevented. Chow wants protective side rails to be made mandatory on all trucks, a measure she believes will prevent cyclists from becoming trapped under the large vehicles. Of all the accidents bike technicians see, it's collisions that happen in situations like these that occur the most. A driver approaching an intersection about to make a right turn but failing to look over his shoulder. Meanwhile, at the same time a cyclist is entering the intersection, that's when the two collide. But you've got to realize that cyclists don't want to get hurt cycling. So most cyclists, using common sense, are going to prepare for themselves to be out on the road. And experts say most are, buying things such as neon vests, lights. This is the first year that we've ever seen a product this bright. Even reflective footwear, all highly recommended gear for cyclists this time of year. If we take several steps to be safe, that we can avoid a tragedy like this. A tragedy serving as a reminder in a time many say it's needed most. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Victoria.